Hi, I'm Rob from B&H and I'm at NAB 2014. I'm in the NAGRA booth talking to John from NAGRA. We're going to talk about NAGRA's portable field recorder, brand new, the NAGRA 7. John, tell me a little bit about the NAGRA 7. Well, it's our latest addition to the park of NAGRA recorders. It's uh, designed as a two-channel recorder. Okay. Um, but the interesting thing about it, the co it's a conceptually done in such a way that it's modular and we can adapt it to the different working environments, the broadcast, film and television. So you get the uh, features music, that you need without the features you don't need, for yeah. example. And you don't have to pay for stuff you don't need. Exactly. So uh, there are kind of three different basic ideas. Yeah, you've got the standard machine, which is a basic... Uh, music, field music, recordings. Sound effects, uh, uh, nature recordings, sure. animals, those sort of things, where you don't have time code and all the stuff. Right. Then you've got the time code aspect, which is for the documentaries, film, guys, film yeah. guys, that sort of thing. And then thirdly, the broadcast aspect, where you have audio compression, editing, ISDN, I think, ISDN, as well. ISDN, uh, Wi-Fi, 3G transmission, all these sort of things that, of course, people in the film industry have no interest in whatsoever. Exactly. Uh, and the music people don't want to know what time code is. So, you know, right. depending on the options, which are boards that you add to the machine, okay. the machine is configured for a specific application once you, when you buy it. Fantastic. Could be done afterwards, but generally when someone buys a machine, they say it's for this application. Right, now. exactly. Okay, let's look at the uh, unit itself. Now, there's an internal micro SD inside and an SD card slot as well? Yeah, is it's that delivered right? with a 16 gigabyte internal micro SD mm -hmm. as its main drive. Okay. This is user changeable, so if you want to put a larger one in, uh, it's simply change the card. And then the extractable media is the SD on the side here, mm -hmm. which is located on the side. Right. And obviously that's the media you would use to take out and put into a computer. Of course, you can also plug into the USB connector, mm -hmm. standard USB cable, and it becomes a drive of the computer the same as any other device mm -hmm. does. Nice looking, and uh, this is a touch screen, I believe, right? It is, yeah, it's a color touch screen. And the advantage of a touch screen actually is you can do away with all the switches and all those sort of things. Right. So you've got a lot more possibilities, so everything is controlled with it. And switches are actually the things that, that are the weakest link sure. in a recorder nowadays. And having a touch screen um, gives us the possibility to display all the different icons right. and different features, which change depending on the configuration of these boards as I was saying before this particular one has time code I see and there's an editor as well in this particular one absolutely okay, yeah. got it yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> tell me about the power supply uh, on this bad boy it runs from uh, battery, a removable detachable battery box that got you it. can change very quickly mm -hmm. out in the field which takes a standard takes eight double a uh, rechargeable cells we also have a lithium pack, which gives a little bit longer operation. The how much time can AA, I expect? AA cells will give you about five hours, and the lithium pack around seven hours. Okay. Also, phantom power is on here, and that'll yeah. you know eat up a, a battery. <clears throat> exactly. That's one of the things typically that will change the battery life if you're using dynamic mics, as you would in broadcast. Uh, you're going to get much more use, much longer use than you would if you're running phantom power mics, sure. uh, which you would do in, in film situations. So, you know, there are various things like that. Also, the, the display dims automatically, but if you leave it on full power, it uses a little bit more. So that's what gives the difference between the running time slightly. Yeah. Excellent. And just looking at the box, it's beautiful, the fantastic Nagra quality <laughs> that we've come to expect from you guys. And the dial, of course, you know. The uh, various standard little uh, Nagra features, the speaker, of course, which yeah. all Nagras are using. Sure. Stuff, and the famous rotary uh, switch. Yeah. In essence, the, the Nagra 7 tries to bring all the modern technology to a simple two-track machine. So, of course, it'll do 24-bit, 192 kilohertz sampling, so it's right at the peak of audio performance, but yet it also has the features such as AES-42 for digital microphones mm -hmm. you can plug in. It's got right powering, yep. it's got touchscreen, it's got communications, Wi-Fi, 3G, Ethernet port, so you can do audio over IP. A voice over IP for broadcasters. So very um, versatile. It's very versatile. Yeah. So John, thanks so much for telling us about the Nagra it's 7. Pleasure. I appreciate it very much. Pleasure. From NAB 2014, I'm Rob from B and H. Thanks for watching.